We are getting our day started with the one thing that we have sold online. Uh, $35, so we didn't do too bad there. We picked this up at a Salvation Army whilst out thrifting. I think I paid six bucks for it or something like that. So we, we made a pretty good profit even though we sat on it for a couple of months. I'm going to get this boxed up. I'm going to make our lunch and we are going to head out thrifting. But before I even make our lunch, I totally forgot I have things to set outside for porch pickup. The window we garbage picked, we've had that for quite a while. I have a price down to $15 at this point. It's supposed to get picked up today. And the prepare to unload sign we also garbage picked. And a friend of ours wanted it for his bathroom, which is hilarious. Um, but he hasn't yet let us know if he's picking it up for sure or not. So that may or may not get picked up. That's supposed to get picked up in like an hour. Hmm, you guys remember the bottle capper that was supposed to get picked up twice and didn't? Same lady says she's coming today. $25, porch pickup. Third time's a charm, right? We're going we're gonna to keep that in mind. Third time is a charm. This will get picked up today. Here we go. I'm excited. I feel good today. I feel like we're going to find some good stuff. The weather is absolutely awesome. Let's, uh, let's really, let's fill the freaking truck. Wow, this stuff just still shocks me. I mean, right? He's cute, right? $9.99. He's a $10 little figurine dog. Rich found something, likely for the booth. Pretty sweet there. And then look what I just found, although I haven't looked at the price tag yet. Look how cute this is. O-M-G. Mmm, seven dollars. I don't know if I like you seven dollars worth. I'm gonna think about that. I got so excited. So fast. Ran over. And had my heart broken. You guys see that? Right here. It's all spider cracked broken <sighs> sorry guy I'm leaving you here but then there's this I don't know if I love this or I hate it I can't I can't make up my mind so bizarre why is her head so little compared to her body she has the shoulders of a linebacker shoulder pads oh my gosh thing is epic. Hmm. So I picked this guy up. He is signed on the bottom, but I couldn't make out the signature and kind of pretty quickly hit a dead end on my searches. But Rich is way better at looking things up than I am. His research skills are just far superior to mine. So I was like, hey, do you want a project? And I sent him back to the fish. Now, he figured it out. Zaya Pueblo, something like that. These are solds. It's a Zaya Native American pottery fish. So I think I did well on that. Although he can't find another fish. Can't figure that one out either, other than it says California. So Rich has another task. I guess it doesn't really matter because Rich found a bunch of chips on it, so it's just going to stay on the shelf. Well, we might not fill the truck, but we found a waffle maker. As long as it works. Indicator light is on. But it's a good one. Cross your fingers, it works. I need this sign. A perfectly kept house is a sign of a misspent life. Ain't that the truth? Oh, those bring back memories. They're not worth much, but oh man, they're fun to see. Aren't those fun? 1993. Oh, poor Eric. Eric, your stuff got donated. Ooh, Goodwill. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, Salvation Army. Dude, four dollars. Are you are you kidding me? Are we at the right store? Are we being punked? 
I don't know, but I'm getting this regardless. Oh, man. I don't know what is going on here, but this is like cracked and broken and meh. Darn it, I was so excited. These are great, but I can't find any good comps on them. Singularly, they're only selling for like six bucks. Ice skates. Four bucks a piece, yeah. That I gotta leave them behind, but I'm so bummed. Those are freaking killer. Now what I wanna know, this is enamel, is if Cloisonne is a style or if Cloisonne is a brand. That is what I wanna know. Cause these are selling between like 22 and 40 bucks. They only want three. Look at this freaking lampshade. I don't want the lamp, but I really just want the lamp shade. The thing is killer. Negative on that. Somebody made it, and even though they did a pretty good job, and it's pretty killer, it doesn't have much resale value. It's just a, it is just a uh, project. Best score of the day. We're gonna fight over this thing, Garen frickin' teed. Six bucks, a little more than I'd want to spend, but dude, dude. Dude, bro, we're getting it. This guy, this guy's wearing it right out of the store. It looks good on him. As soon as he takes it off, I'm swiping it though. First, first bus attire clothing item. I love it. I freaking love it. All right, let's keep this going. We've had a heck of a run today. We have this store and one more store following this store. See if we can keep up the good, uh, what's it called? Good, uh, good, good something. Ugh. I don't know. They want 15 for it. Prices on these things have dropped quite a bit recently, like within the last year or two. I used to be able to no problem get $35 for these things. Now I'm not so sure. I don't even care that we didn't score big. This, this was our big score for today. <laughs> it's amazing. It is 425 and it is getting dark already, but this was my one purchase. Under five dollars. It is vintage napco wear. It's worth about 20, so I did all right. We've made it back to the house. Let's go down the line. Did it get picked up? Oh my gosh! It got picked up finally. Holy crap. About friggin' time. Oh, look at that. I think she left me she left me 40 bucks because it was only 25. She must have felt bad for not picking it up the last two times that she said she was going to. Prepare to unload is still here. Oh well. But the window did get picked up, so there should be more money under here. Indeed, 15 for the window that we garbage picked. So we didn't do too bad. I'll bring this back in the house. And not quite done with sales yet. Somebody's supposed to be on their way to come look at the globe. I can't remember if I have this listed for 40 or 45, but something in that range. I did sell a globe, but it wasn't the globe that I originally planned on selling here. It was a totally different globe. But I sold a globe and I made 25 bucks. I had to wait for my dog to stop drinking. I don't know what it is about me video recording anything that makes her and the boy extremely thirsty. Moving on. I picked four of these up. They are Indiana Glass Company King's Crown, I believe is the pattern. I've had similar sets before, but I don't know if I've had the goblets. I paid $4 for the set of four, and they're worth right around $20-25. So I'm not like a giant profit, but profit nonetheless. This is a General Electric model 940 clock alarm clock am radio combo it is a bakelite housing um i can't find one sold i can only find one listed for 59 which i think is ridiculous so i'm going to put this up for 30 or best offer but i'm going to make sure it's all cleaned out nice and shiny before uh putting it on ebay it's only am right Yes, only AM. Yeah, because we couldn't really get a station to come in, but it makes sense if it's just an AM radio. So, for four bucks, 
Yeah, you can't go wrong. Even for a decor piece, it's worth at least twenty twenty five. I would agree with that. This. We don't really know what this is worth. <laughs> They're going anywhere between like 40 bucks and $400. Now, this one does have a tiny little glaze chip right there by my thumb and a little wear spot on the eyeball. We paid $4. So even with the little tiny glaze chip, there is a signature even though you can't really see it. Ooh, yeah, you can't really see it. Worst case scenario, we're probably looking at like 40, 45 bucks. This. What do I pay for this? Paid $3 for this. It is a cloisonne metal rabbit. Very, very pretty. Very, very ornate. I absolutely love it. It's enamel. In the box with its little stand. I don't know. I don't. Oh, is there paper in there? There is paper in here. Oh, there is paper. What does the paper say? New Genuine Cloisonne Rabbit. Easter 1994, I think is what it says. Interesting. Actually, that was really cool. I had no idea that was in there. So yeah, vintage 1990s apparently. Uh, they were going right around $20 to $25. I don't know, we'll see. I like it. I think it's cute. Now, peeking out from underneath here is my vintage Napco Wear Rainbow Trout Planter. These were selling, or actually, I couldn't find any solds. I think was the deal here. Um, but they were listing between 20 and $25. So I took a chance for, what did I pay for him? Four bucks? Yeah, four bucks. Sure. Now these, I think were my big winners for today. I got these at Goodwill. I paid like five bucks a piece for them. They are vintage 90s CCM Detroit Red Wings jerseys. Now, uh, this, is it this one? Yeah, this one is in really good condition. Uh, no damage stains, nothing. So they were selling between $40 and $90. This one has some really light staining right here. I am not going to try to get that out because I have hard water and no water softener. So I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> so I'm going to sell it with the light stains. This one, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm looking at like 40, 45 bucks. The other one, best case scenario, I'm looking at like 90. So I think those are my giant scores for today. This will likely go in the booth. It is a The Who t-shirt. Um, yeah, that will likely go in the antique booth for like 10, 15 bucks. And we got a waffle iron. So... That is everything that we purchased thrifting today. Thanks for hanging out with us again today, guys, and we'll do it again soon. Bye.